Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. When you do a divorce case, or really any family law case, it could be a custody case without the benefit of a marriage. So it's a custody case, but it's not a divorce case. When you do that, there's a lot of discovery that has to be done, a lot of investigation, and a lot of investigative processes that are available to the lawyers in order to learn what the case is about, in order to peel off the layers so we can finally get to the truth of what's going on. One of those tools is called a deposition. Perhaps you've heard of this. Perhaps your lawyer told you you're going to have a deposition, or I'm going to take the deposition of the other side. Well, what does that mean? Well, a deposition is a sworn statement under oath. The purpose of this is to lock down testimony. Let's say, for example, your ex all of a sudden won't let you see the child. Nothing's really going on. You don't know why. You think it's because you now have a new girlfriend and she's upset, but you don't really know why because she's not articulating what it is. That might be a good reason to take a deposition. Your lawyer would sit the person down. They'd appear before a court reporter could be live, could be by Zoom. They'd raise their hand in oath, they swear to tell the truth, and the lawyer would start asking them questions, and everything that they say is written down, it's typed. It's a transcript that's made available to the court. And they may ask, did you ever leave the child with your ex during the relationship for any period of time? When you went shopping, when you went to the mall, when you went to visit relatives, was there ever a problem? Then no, there wasn't. Was there any allegations of any abuse? No, not at all. Have you ever seen your ex do something injurious to the child or something that's a bad influence? In other words, you want to nail this down. You want to get as many no, no, none of that, as many of those kind of answers as you can because eventually you're going to get to the point, do you have a problem with him seeing your child? If the answer is yes, what is it? Now that they've already said they've never seen you do anything that's injurious to the child, what are they going to say? They're not in a position to say, well, I'm upset because I don't like the fact that he's seeing someone. Or I don't like his girlfriend. Well, then it becomes the question, well, do you know the girlfriend? Well, how many times have you been present when he's been out with the girl? Probably very little. What is the basis? What's the rational basis? Did your child say something that bothers you? Let's get it out in the open. Let's figure it out. Because ultimately... Whatever that testimony is, good or bad or indifferent, you want to nail it down. Why? Because you don't want to be in a position where that person at trial is saying, oh, I don't like her because she's a drug addict. Was he a drug addict? When I took your deposition, you didn't say that. Is that new evidence? What evidence do you have to support that? In other words, if you're going to have a trial, you want to lock down the testimony. And you want to know what the complaint against you is before you go into that trial, which is why a deposition might take place, which is why your lawyer might think that that's a valuable tool. Does it cost more money? Yes, it does. You got to prepare for it. You got to take it. It may take several hours. It may cost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to do. But at the end of the day, knowing that in advance prevents surprises at trial. And the last thing you want in a custody case is a surprise at the trial. If you have any questions about this, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.